2.0 this is the away colorway obviously we know the home colorway is white with the gum bottom which they um postponed it because of some defect issues i heard it was some stitching problems going on so um look forward to those coming out soon don't know when can't tell you so but anyways adidas went with the bounce cushioning and bounce is a material that is basically like Addy Preen Press Plus Plus, but only difference is they have a higher rubber content, so that's why they call it Bounce. They use it in a lot of their runners, so for hoopers, they really don't know about Bounce. It's new to us, but old to them as far as the runners. <clears throat> now, the upper they went with, in a, actually not even the upper, in the toe box, they went with a engineered mesh-like textile material, which actually works out pretty well. It's lightweight, it's durable, it's strong. And then they went with synthetic upper in some of the areas as far as synthetic leather, and then obviously you got your textile and then on the medial side you have like a net netting area for breathing breathability but to me with this sock line booty it's in here which is amazing you, excuse me, you get no breathability whatsoever so don't even worry about it that's that was pointless so but um and then obviously you have your lockdown straps right here like kind of like on the john wall same as the uh, Lillard one which does a great job and then you have these these eyelets right here that actually strap you in on the front right there. Those actually strap down the forefoot area. This is the midfoot. And then obviously you got your booty and your heel counter to get you for the rest. So I honestly think that when you get in this shoe, when you actually put your foot in this shoe, you're strapped in. It's awesome. I love it to death. You're strapped in. Now as far as the traction goes, Adidas went with the Continental, as you can see, tire company that's actually partnering i guess with adidas you want to say because they're doing the ultra boost as well maybe it's making the rubber more thick more durable to make the shoes last longer when it comes down to people who really beat their shoes up i'm not really sure but i like it i don't have a problem with it it's actually pretty good so i would actually recommend going half a size down on this shoe just because of the booty that's what i did and i wear two pairs of socks and i'm still pretty good with it now, if you have a fatter, wider foot, I would say go up a half a size. Do not go your size. So, um, traction overall, <clears throat> traction is actually pretty good. Dust does get clogged up in those little uh, slits right there. But overall, you're good. A couple wipes, one or two wipes, and you're good to go. Traction is actually better than most shoes that I've actually hooped in. So, And maybe I just love this shoe so much for the price point. You can't beat it. 105 it's amazing. Um, if you don't like the colorways, you can go on myadidas.com. They actually have... A customized option where you can customize it for 125 instead of 105 and uh if you feel like 105 or 125 is too steep but you want the shoe i'm pretty sure if you sign up for their email address they'll give you 10 to 15 percent off the website so there's some options you can do with there overall this is just an awesome shoe and really that's all i really have to say if you have any comments concerns just let, let me know down below and i'll answer anything and everything you need to know um, oh, lastly, as far as impact protection with the bounce, it's amazing. You don't have no problems whatsoever. I actually don't have problems, and usually I do. So, But anyways, this is Love My Kicks. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Like, comment, subscribe. It's all down below. And look forward to new, new footage coming up. All right, Love My Kicks again. I'm out. Peace.